It's 1973 and Winifred Foley, aged 59, is at home in Huntley waiting to hear her story about growing up in the Forest of Dean to be broadcast on BBC Radio. It'll be on soon. My story on the radio. A child in the forest. I can't quite believe it. Well, just recently, the people on the radio asked for working people to send in stories about their life. Wow. I had to, didn't I? Pages and pages I wrote. Everything. Of course, I've always had to write, really had to. Scribbling away ever since I was little. It started at school, Miss Hale, bless her. Well, it was her that told me I could write, really write. About my family, mam, dad, us kids playing in the woods, daydreaming, the old folks in the village. Ordinary people, they call us. Of course, I would have stayed at school. I loved it. That's not what happened back then. Fourteen I was. Time to earn a living. My dad waving me off to London. Scrubbing floors. Doing people's dishes, blacking grates. In service, they call it. Posh people's skivvy, more like. It's all in there. My story. Growing up in the forest. London. Meeting Sid. Well, they're talking about making it into a book. A proper book. Our dad would have loved that. And now on Woman's Hour, Ooh, our story. Here it comes, my story. It's about to start. A Child in the Forest by Winifred Foley. Read by June Barry. We children didn't think about whether we were isolated, of course, or about what the forest was. We took it for granted that hundreds of massive oak trees bordered our village, that the woods were full of fern, that our fathers worked in the coal mines. A Child in the Forest was so successful on the radio that the following year the BBC published it as a book. It was Winifred Foley's first, but not her last, published work. She carried on writing about the Forest of Dean, her experiences and the people she knew for the rest of her life. 